Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome back to the last part of structural drawing, which is part three, and I will talk about the beam detail. Okay, the, here is uh, some example of typical beam detail on a typical uh, drawing paper you might see in uh, during your career as civil engineer letter. Okay, this is example of a ground floor plan. Okay, you may see this one as usual. You may see the the grid line and then you may see the ground beam. Okay, the red line is the ground beam and you can see the number. You can see the DP150 here and then the arrow here and then like this one. All slab thickness equal to 1 m 150mm thick unless noted otherwise. Okay, this is unless noted otherwise. This shows that uh, the thickness of the slab here, this okay means for this slab, this slab, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all the slab, the thickness is 150 mm only unless noted otherwise made if it's uh, not here the thickness is 200 and then make it a box means the thickness of this slab panel is 200 mm and the thickness of other slab is 150 mm okay first of all uh, you must know the Difference between simply supported beam and then the continuous beam. Okay. So here is the example of a simply supported beam, which is beam with single span. Now as the simply supported beam, this is the example and it's located here. Okay, this is example of simply supported beam because the span is only one. Okay, from this end to this end. Only one span means this is simply supported beam. Another one is this one. This is simply supported beam. Okay, only one span. This is simply supported beam. And also, this is all, uh, one more simply supported beam because it is supported by this beam and also by this beam. Another one is the continuous beam, which is the beam with more than one span. Okay, as an example, here is this one. This beam is located here. Okay, this is one span from here, from number one to number two. This is the, this is number one and this is number two. From number one to number two is one span, and from number two to number three is another one span. Okay, this is number one. This is considered as one span, and this from number two to number three. This is also considered as one span. So it's more than one span, it's known as continuous beam. So this is also continuous beam. This is also continuous beam. This is also continuous beam. How about this one? Okay. How about this one? This is continuous or simply supported? From located at B2, here B2. C2. This is simply supported or continuous beam. Anybody know? Anybody want to try? This is a simply supported or continuous beam. Simply supported. Okay, good. This is simply supported because only supported by this column and this column. Okay, although this, you, you can see another beam here, but this beam will become a point load before. It's okay, you can learn this one in another subject. Okay, let's say in uh, mechanic of material or theory of structures, you can learn further detail on about this. Okay, you don't have to panic. Okay, another information you will see on the ground floor plan is the size of beam. 
example is here this one the number here show the size of beam for example this one the size of it is 2 to 5 2 to 5 times 450 2 to 5 is the width of the beam and 450 is the depth of the of the beam another example here is uh, 150 times 300 means the width of the beam is 150 mm and then the depth is 300 mm okay this is uh, like i mentioned before okay this is example of a uh, ground beam detail you can see here uh, the red color shows you the steel reinforcement okay the red uh, horizontal steel reinforcement okay this is at the top top uh, part of the beam this is also the steel reinforcement at the bottom part of the beam and this is a shear reinforcement okay this indicate the shear reinforcement okay r6 200 okay means the size the diameter is equal to six millimeters the type okay or the strength is uh, r you can refer later and then the spacing from here to here is 200 mm center to center okay so you don't have to draw every everything you don't have to draw every line just enough by this end to this end and then you complete with this arrow okay to simplify your drawing okay this is the cross section of two two okay this is to indicate your this is to indicate your link okay or the shear reinforcement Okay, this is your 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 main bar. Means main bar at the top is two y twelve. This one, okay, you can see two is one and two. The type is y, and then the diameter is twelve. Okay, twelve mean the the diameter of the bar. This one is the the type. Two is the the number of the bar. Okay. Uh, example another example here is okay the this beam is this beam is located here okay from a1 to a3 okay this is a grid line a stroke one to a stroke three and you can see this one okay the 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 round okay the circle here and the number inside show the grid line Okay, this uh, symbol showing you that you have rectangular column at the top of the beam. Okay, so this one, okay, mean, okay, rectangular, rectangular O square. Okay, if you have circular column, the symbol should be like this one. Okay, this one. Okay, just like number eight, but this is to show that the column up of the beam is okay. okay okay this okay this symbol okay similar symbol shows you the uh, existing of rectangular column at bottom part of the beam and then uh, the the outer line shows you the concrete okay line of concrete Okay, the, as I mentioned before, the red line shows you the main bar at the top and at the bottom. And this is the combination 2Y12 means two number of bar, the type is Y and the, and the diameter is 12. And then this one shows you the, the ties or the link or the shear reinforcement. And this is the number and then this is the, the type, the diameter and the, the spacing. Okay, and this is the shows you the beam section, section one one. So you refer to this, to here. You refer to this one. Okay, and then this uh, is, you can see here the the black one shows the the incoming beam means here you have you have beam. Come to this to this column. And here you don't have any any symbol like the one because you don't have any beam. No beam come to this. Uh, 
uh, yes, uh, no perpendicular beam come to this column. Okay. This is another example for this beam. Okay, the lead line. And it shows you, okay, for this beam. Okay, this, okay, no similar symbol or similar legend means that this beam is supported by other beam. Okay, not by a column, either rectangular or square or circle. Okay, let's take a look on the drop on slab. The ground floor plan also show, showing you the drop on slab. Okay, let's see. As shown here, this one. This area have drop. Also, this area have another drop okay bp means drop and you you see the, the the direction of the error okay means this part okay let's say this is the part a and this is part b which part is higher and which part is lower part a or part b a b higher b is higher okay means b is higher because the the error here show you here like this one okay means you have to step down okay we, okay we you have to to move lower okay like this one uh, okay let's say this is part c and part d which part is higher part c or part d is higher c higher yes c is higher than d as well as here B is higher than uh, A. Okay. Okay. This is example here. Okay. You can see different color here. Okay. This is the light blue. This is darker blue. And then this is the dark blue. Means different level of slab. Okay. This is, uh, this show you the slab cross section. This is cross section of one one. You cross here. What you will see. And then also this is cross section two two. You cross here, then what you will see. This is cross section three three, and then the cross section four four. Okay. Okay. For cross section one one, what do you expect? Do you have any drop? Any different level of slab? No. No. Yes. Good. Okay, you can see here the, the, the yellow color is the concrete, okay, means the concrete, and the red color is the, red color is the steel reinforcement inside the slab, and you can see that the yellow color is in similar level, which means that, okay, as you can see here, no drop at that section. And you can see this is the beam here, crossing number one. So you can see the beam. Crossing number two, you have beam. So this indicate this is the beam here. Number three, grid line three and grid line four also have beam. Okay, this is the cross section. Okay, as you can see. And then here for cross section number two. Okay, any drop here? For this section? No. Yes, good. No drop. However, the position of beam uh, position of beam is differ. You have beam at one, but you have no beam at two. Let's say two is here. But no beam is okay, so you don't have to show. Two A you have beam, so this is two A, three, and four. Okay. I hope you can imagine the cross section of the slab. And then the number three, what you expect? Do, you, do we have drop? Yes. Have. Yes. At, at, at which part? From, from A, grid line A to grid line B. Okay, we have drop. Like this one, okay. So from, from A 
to be the slab here and slab here is not in same level where the drop is equal to 150 mm okay that's why tadi uh, uh, we can see the level here dp 150 means the drop is equal to 150 millimeter and then uh, you can see the beam here a b b1 yeah a b b1 c and d you can see the the beam supporting the slab yeah and this is the type of uh, steel reinforcement inside the slab okay how about the section 44 do you expecting any drop there Yes. Yes. Okay. Which part? C1 to D. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. So here, different color of uh, slab. C1 to D. How much the drop? Okay. The drop is 50 mm. As you can refer to the uh, ground beam layout you can see the value of drop letter okay this is uh, similar as i uh, mentioned to you before the available beam here okay and then this is the concrete and then the, the thickness shall be 150 mm okay this is an example of beam construction this is the construction of shear reinforcement or link and then this is uh, how the workers install the the main bar this is the main bar at the top and then this is the main bar at the bottom and then the the workers try to install or fix the the link along the beam Okay, with specific uh, spacing. The spacing is uh, closer near the joint. Okay, here is the spacing of the link. You can see here. Anybody know what is the spacing of the link here? From here to here, what is the spacing? 500. 500 what? Okay, let's do it together. This is one. One means 10. Eh? 10, M, uh, 10 mm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 means 15 uh, centimeter in 150 millimeter. This is the spacing of the uh, shear reinforcement. And this is the complete with the formwork, okay, which is uh, ready for the concreting job. Okay, this is uh, example of concreting work for the beam. Any question? Okay, that's all for this part. Thank you very much. I will uh, share with you uh, the Google quiz later and. Please remember one test will come from uh, these lessons, okay? Either column, pet footing, or beam. And maybe I will uh, include the roof thrusters. Okay, that's all uh, from me. Thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for your attention. All the best. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye.